A group unlike any other in the last 20 years. Firefighters come from all over the country to train with the Georgia Smoke Divers. News Channel 9's Hannah Lawrence introduces us to one unique person going for that elite certification. Hannah. Calvin and Latricia, the training is six days long. 30 people set out to complete the course on Sunday. Now only 17 are left. One is a woman. All right, you guys ready? Just count myself as one of them. The last woman to make a go at this rigorous course did so 23 years ago. And it was just something that I wanted to challenge myself with. In 2005, the program got an upgrade. I'm tired. It's, it's hard work. Since then, instructor David Rhodes says a woman hasn't even passed the test to qualify for this session. We have had several attempt. Um, Melissa Russell, a firefighter here at Dalton, uh, passed the qualification test. I'm tired, but, but I'm hanging in and fight through the, the weather and the adversity of the whole class. Firefighters get here at 6 a.m. Oh, oh. and don't stop until 9 or 10 o'clock at night. I had a partner and uh, he got he got sick, so it's been it's been a grind. It's been a tough week, but it really shows how much grit you have. Rhodes says it takes 70 certified smoke divers to train an incoming class of 30. Russell's husband is also one of them this time. He's encouraged me and, and give me a lot of sound advice. This is her second attempt to achieve the certification. She's back for class 53. And, and it's Thursday and she's, she's looking good. Gabe Shoup has been working with Russell since she dropped out of the last class. He says she's killing it. Absolutely, absolutely. It's my, my training partner for the last 12 weeks, so we've worked really hard to get where we are. Coming up at 6, I'll tell you how the training prepares firefighters for the type of disaster we saw during the wildfires last November. Latricia. Thank you, Hannah. She has grit for sure. The training ends tomorrow afternoon. Depend on us to let you know how many make